Would you rather work for eight to nine years or be in prison for the same amount of time? Guys, this is a crazy clip I've seen on our Instagram. It's a rapper from California basically saying that he would rather be in a prison than be working a regular job, living a regular life. Now, this is a wild clip. No jumper. Uh, Adam 22 was interviewing this rapper and this guy right here. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's crazy and it's pretty sad. His take on life and this actual topic. Check it out. And viewer discretion is advised. 18 years old, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 years old, 18 years old, yes, sir. And, uh, wait, oh, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yeah, 18 years old. And I got out when I was 26. And you got sentenced like almost immediately? Oh, uh, because it was a sweet deal. My dad got me a lawyer. My dad, straight up, like, he got me a lawyer and shit. He's a stockbroker. He live in Florida. He don't fuck with my mom no more. He living his own life and shit. But yeah, he got me a lawyer. They knew shit was hitting the fan. And uh, they got me a lawyer and they told me to sign ASAP because if I didn't sign, she was going to get worse. So right away, I signed for 13 years with 85%. Got the paperwork on my pad. Real solid, went to Pelican Bay, I was on a yard. I went to Wasco State Prison, uh, Wasco uh, Reception, I went to Corcoran Shoe, 482 right. at 18 years old, 19, that shit was cold, man, just the shit I've been through is just like, what the f*** motherfuckers would have folded, you know what I'm saying, just, I've been through some shit, dog. I really have been through some shit, so like, if you don't like my story, or motherfuckers out there listening, like, you, you're not happy to see me when you're a f***ing weirdo, dog. Real quick, man, I know I know a couple guys like this guy, but to be honest, this is like the mindset of a lot of people. You know, I wouldn't even say in Cali, but I guess particularly in Cali, that's where he's from. But the point is, y'all, he uh, has this certain way of thinking, and it ain't nothing new, you know? And he's bragging about being in prison, and he never went to the PC yard, which, of course, I know why, because this guy is on, well, for now, right? We don't know if any paperwork comes out, but nowadays, y'all, it's hip, and it's actually, you know, a big deal, especially with the Chicano slash Latin Hispanic culture, that if you're a rapper like this guy that tends to be a tough guy, or is one, that you cannot snitch or go to the PC yard if you go to prison. So I say that to say this, there's no paperwork of him going to a PC yard. If there was, I'm pretty sure I would have heard about it or seen it float around on the internet because that's what they do nowadays. Uh, if you go to a PC yard, it's looked down upon, it's frowned upon, you know, child predators. That's the yard they go to. Certain kind of, you know, despicable people go to those protective custody yards, people like SPM. But I digress. The point is this guy's, you know, toting that badge of honor that he's never been to a PC yard. And like I said, he's probably right because I'm sure by now it would have been exposed already. This is how, you know, people like this with this genre and this music and this lifestyle, they're real quick to expose people with bad paperwork or if someone has been to a PC yard. So again, he's using this as a badge of honor, which to be honest, you know, for him doing his time in the, a certain general population yard or whatever yard he's talking about, uh, it is, you know, looked, uh, good as far as uh how they you know measure somebody in that lifestyle right you didn't fold you didn't snitch and you didn't go to the pc yard you stayed solid on a regular general population yard where there's a lot of rules a lot of warfare and a lot of just craziness i digress let's continue because i've been through some fucking shit and i'm solid and i never told in my life i never you know i never froze up in my life stay solid still down for the cause you know what i'm saying still down for the homies still all about the hood still in the ghetto and it's fun. i'm just so institutionalized it's hard to break about that shit but yeah mm. you know what i'm saying that makes sense when he says that he's just oh man if he did over 10 years you know what um I'm not surprised that he's thinking like this. This guy's on a, a fast track of fame, y'all. Hopefully the dude don't crash out, but whatever happens, happens. But now that I look at this guy, he looks like my people. You know, he looks like my little brother. He looks like, you know, a cousin that just got out a couple months back. This is how they look, y'all. Head to toe, you know, black and gray tattoos. I did a gang. Of that was my whole, my whole shit. But I don't regret it, Adam. I don't. I, I really hear. don't. Imagine you doing nine years from 18 to 26. You wouldn't be that stupid to go do what I did, though. But no. 18 it to 26. could happen to anybody, right? Hey, hey, happy, your life could change just like that. Because hey, I'm sure you didn't go out that night thinking that you were going to let that shit off, right? My but boy, I go, out every, I go out every night thinking I'm going to let that shit off. Back then, <laughs> dead homies, gun man. Like, that's how we do it, dog. Like, I go out there every night looking for some shit to let off. So at that time, it's, not, time like was was, it's not like this was some crazy mistake that no, just no, no, some, no. some extreme shit happened. Like, you, you were going into situations. Look, at that point in time in my life, I was looking for shit. Yeah. Every night, I was looking for trouble. You look for trouble, you're going to find shit. I was on the block every single night. Tweet the f out dog drunk as f 
on every drug, burn it up, looking for ops every night. That's what that's what gangbang is. Every night I'm just hoping to find shit like that. At least he's being honest and he's admitting to it. And you know he's he's not sitting there blaming no one else. I mean he's full throttle, you know, in it. So, and then when it does hit you, it's like damn. You know what I'm saying? But it just happens so fast. It's just a blur, dog. It's just like, I don't even, like, it's crazy, fool. Because, like, now I'm 27, 28. And it's just like, what the Damn. f***, fool? Like, still young. That shit just happened so quick. Like, there was all my 20s. And I wouldn't want to grow up and be working at Petco or f***ing go to Cal State Fullerton or f***ing work at FedEx. I'd rather do that nine years in the Bay and come home and be a famous Gang banger. So you'd rather do eight years at Pelican Bay than eight years at Petco? And be who I am right now. Mm. Yes, sir. I really would. Because it gave me a lot of clutch. Huh? It gave me things. I'm looking at you in the eyes. I touch you in the eyes. Motherfuckers don't do that. I shake your hand like that. I keep it respectful. Wow. But motherfuckers out here aren't respectful like that. Like that. Like just people out here take your kindness for a weakness. It's a trip. Prison gives you good manners and good clutch. There's a lot of good people in there. It's you clutch eyes game. Up, but it, it, the truth is, is that in order to get respect in a lot of different communities, going to prison or putting in work, quote unquote, you kind of got to do that to get respect and, from and, certain and people, to right? Me, in a no, Latino you don't. Community, yeah, you do. You do have to do that to have like a say so, and that's like just a man though. Like, like I said before in my other interview, how freaking sad. It was like where I was from, dog. I played football. I played football, bumper high school and shit like that. Like I played baseball my whole life, and just nobody gave a. F Mm. Everybody in my area is just Damn. all about the gangs in the city and the real prideful in the city. So just I seen my homies right there just posted up and like I'm going to be from here. You know what I'm saying? I started, you know, just it's just a trip. How it all I, I would trip out in the mirror when I look at myself and I'd be like, I imagine myself without none of my tattoos. Mm. Some guy put it to myself like imagine yourself with no tattoos. Like, who are you? Like, you know, when I was in jail, like my don't understand like who the fuck are you dog like what the fuck are you doing in life like what's your purpose you know what i'm saying have you figured that out you know what i'm saying like some do some don't if it is to be so to me i could do whatever i want i could move this i could bounce i could leave shake your hand i could do whatever the fuck i want it's on you dog a fool's mind dances on the tip of his tongue first impressions is everything just shit like that just keep we don't beat women you know what i'm saying like we you know just stuff like that just good manners that people taught me like never keep nothing bottled inside if it bothers me i'm gonna let you know because i'm not gonna go to sleep like a little bitch knowing that i didn't tell you on the spot you know what i'm saying just shit like that just the, the way the sureños get down the way the south siders my homies my people my hood gets down just it just it made me it made it made a man it raised the man out of me dog like i and there he is lefty gunplay um again viral sensation he's all over you know the gram this little clip went viral i forgot who shared it. i couldn't find it so i had to come to adam 22's uh podcast and just say damn this is uh pretty sad and it's the reality of life and it's not true though you know you don't need prison to get you some uh to get you some manners even though <laughs> i do agree sometimes and i do say that Sometimes prison is for people that don't want to act right. They get that act right. You don't want to mind somebody out here. You're going to mind somebody in there. It's just sad that that's where you get that correction because, you know, as a Christian, I believe that we should show our kids from, you know, when they're born, you know, how to act and act accordingly. And I'm not trying to, you know, sit here and Bible thump, but that's just how, you know, my kids are. My kids are uh, you know, nothing like what I was when I was a uh, a young, you know, knucklehead myself, but I'm just saying the point is, it's sad to, to hear this, but I do give him props for being at least honest, and it's kind of crazy, he's out, he's out there putting uh, them, you know, the gang's names and all that stuff, you know, out there, and uh, the as much as I know about the internet and, you know, this kind of activity, you know, you gotta be careful what you say on here. Again, this is Lefty Gunplay, y'all. It's a sad fact that what he's saying is, I mean, there's a lot of truth in what he, in he, what he said. As absurd as what it sounds like, you know, sometimes they don't want to listen out here and they got to go listen to someone in there. But it's sad that that's what he thinks. That that's the only way that he can get, you know, some discipline is by going up there with the big homies and, uh, you know, running with the crew and, you know, living that lifestyle. I'm pretty sure he's, you know, happy, I would think, as a regular man to be out. But it's sad because the guy's still 27, 28. He's a young man. And I ain't gonna lie, every time I see him, he looks tweaked out, y'all. And maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I don't know, but he's pretty viral. I just wanted to uh, basically post this clip of him saying that he would rather be in prison than working a nine to five job. That's crazy, right? So with that, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, prison is for some people. They don't want to act right or get right. And they they go to prison. They get a lot of manners. And uh, that's just the unfortunate 
uh, fact or maybe fortunate. Some of these guys probably uh, need prison or prison is a way to keep them alive sometimes. You know, I would pray for my brother to go to jail. You know, he was out here ru running uh, amok and being uh, basically, you know, a nuisance to the public. I prayed he went to jail. Amen. So, again, there's some truth in what he's saying. It's just sad that this is the cold, hard reality of life, especially in California. From what I see, y'all, it's pretty tough out there as far as how the gangs from prison to the street, they just have a grasp on these people y'all it's wild uh, i've never really seen nothing like it i mean it's kind of crazy to watch these clips and to look at you know you know youtubers now that are on uh youtube from california from dropouts to you know others that make content and you just get to catch a glimpse of their world again y'all lefty gunplay on the no jumper podcast making a crazy statement this thing right here is gonna blow up this clip i saw it earlier but i couldn't find it again like i said but there it is y'all saying that he would rather be in prison for eight to nine years instead of working a regular job <laughs> shout out all my hard-working men to me that's being a real g right that's being a real man is when you sacrifice you know part of your life to provide for your responsibilities you know, that's really tough, y'all. Let's be honest. The working man waking up every day, going to work, providing for a family, you know, having temptation, you know, uh, on that brink. You never know what a man could be dealing with. He's on the edge probably sometimes. He's, you know, having problems at work. The boss tells us things at work and we swallow it because we're not really doing that for us. We're doing it for our kids and our wives. I salute that kind of man. But there's Lefty Gunplay, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. You're an American. You're a patriot. You got grit. Act like it. I'm out.